There's also one company in Ngirateneo, in Katipunan, in Katipunan. Like they put up a very good restaurant. And these two, these two uh, proponents were all from Ateneo. Ateneo or another school. Marketing. They have a lot of clients in the evening. It's full house. After three years, they have to fold up. Why? They were not able to manage costs. Again, what's the problem? Financial knowledge. You know, I, uh, I also, we do a lot of um, consultancy with our clients. And most of them, they focus on operations. That's very good. But if the entrepreneur doesn't have a working knowledge, a working knowledge of finance, of accounting, of tax, working knowledge, now what I'm saying is, you don't have to be a big time expert on this, no. You should know what's going on in your company financially. Up until you don't have that idea, it's very difficult to sustain it. So that's my first uh, advice. If you want to put up a company and sustain it, and you want to make it big, very, very important. Measure it weekly, monthly, every quarter, every six months, and then for a year. And then from there, you adjust. Because anything that you cannot measure, you cannot manage. And I'm telling you this. You have to set your priorities in numbers. Unless you have that idea, it's very difficult to maintain. Competitiveness in business is very high. Aside from training, yes, but learn financial knowledge. Next. So this is important. I want to emphasize this because one also is sometimes some entrepreneurs like myself when I was young, I would tell myself, I don't know this, but I will, I will entrust it to my accountant. I will entrust it to my bookkeeper. No, you should have a good knowledge of what you are signing. When it comes to VAT, when it comes to income tax, when it comes to 2307, when it comes to withholding tax, you should know what you're signing. So you should have a good working knowledge.